This is video three of Sketch Like a Pro. Um, for this video, we're just going to look at two really simple isometric shapes, um, one based on a cube and then a cube with a little addition to it. So to start off, um, the benefit of the, the micro dot is it is about learning to sketch rather than be reliant on a, on a stencil. And so I'm going to start, as always, with my array of dots, like so. And I'll join them up just in case you can't see them. So, thin pen for the internal lines. Remember, turn the page. So, I feel that I'm quite good at drawing a natural line that's straight, but I'm not good if I keep the page still and try to move around in an unusual manner. So, my best piece of advice learn to try to just draw a straight line. And practicing like we did on sheet number two, scrap piece of paper, a few dots around the page, and just try and join them up pretty much like what I've done there. And then I'm going to take my thick pen, and for this, because I don't want to go and make a mess while it's being filmed, ghost line, get the movement right, and then put the pen down when you feel you're ready to commit. And the advantage to using the micro dot is that you are learning to draw rather than relying on a stencil all the time. You notice I'm not holding the pen at the tip. Rotate the page and then commit to the line when you feel you've got it. So, really simple isometric cube. That could be a starting point for many different drawings using a creating method, which we'll come on to later. Now, what I'm going to do just to show you a little bit of the versatility of the tool. Exactly the same, an array of dots. And this time I'm going to slide the stencil up. And then put two more dots at the top. Okay, so now this line is an internal one. And this could be maybe a chair. You can keep adding dots just to make whichever sort of crate is suitable for your drawing. Long line here, a little bit wonky, but it'll be okay. Remember, keep turning the page, little ghost line. Okay, like that. Okay, so have a go yourself, click on the QR code, watch the video again, and obviously you can watch it as many times as you like until you get it right. Thank you very much, and this was video three of Sketch Like a Pro.